Hello, I'm Keith McDonald. For almost 30 years, I used to work here at the City of Toronto. I did tours of duty with public health, special events, strategic communications, the city clerk's office, and information and technology. Ultimately, as the Open Data Lead for the Open Data Initiative. And then I left the city, and now I'm just a citizen at large. Hi, and welcome to Citizen at Large. This is our first episode for 2018, so it's volume two, episode one. And I want to congratulate the uh, Open Data team, Executive Committee of City of Toronto Council and City of Toronto Council for uh, passing the Open Data Master Plan. Kudos. Let the record show that as of January 31st, 2018, there is an official roadmap for open data in the City of Toronto. Um, very well done. And uh, shout out to Councillor Paul Ainsley really for cracking that whip uh, as a city councillor and actually making the open data initiative a lot stronger through um, the political realm by basically asking for more information about open data. What are you planning to do? How are you going to get there? And essentially that's what the open data master plan achieves. Fantastic. And really it's a denouement or a conclusion for me. This started in 2016 at the executive, uh, sorry, at the government management committee, which is chaired by Councillor Ainsley, where he asked for a report from open data. So I was involved at that stage and it's very interesting to see the outcome finally some months later uh, with a very solid roadmap. What I wanted to talk about, though, on uh, this episode really has to do with uh, commenting now to the executive committee. I was unable to go in person to depose to the executive committee about this item last week when they were looking at it, which I, I wanted to do. So I thought, well, okay, maybe I can submit a comment. And sure enough, you can. But it's the outcome of the submission of comments that I want to talk about. Before I get to that, though, let me say again, much like I talked about in an earlier vlog post, check out episode two and episode three. The process of in-person deposing is still um, complicated by the fact that the agendas are so stacked with items that you have no idea when you're going to speak. And sure enough, the open data item, again, was held until very late in the evening when most of the executive committee had departed and uh, the people that had been waiting all day to depose um, were essentially uh, amazing stamina for hanging around that long, and it shows, I think, the passion, the fact that they stuck around. But my m basic point that I talked about in episode two and three still holds. You guys have got to stop creating agendas that are so chock-a-block full. Uh, carry them over two days, and I think it'd be more reasonable, not just for the citizen, but for yourself. Why are you doing that to yourselves? It seems a little stupid to be quite frank about it. But anyway... The item I want to talk about here has to do with commenting. Let me walk you through the process, and you'll actually see what hung me up at the end. Um, essentially, you go into the executive committee agenda, and uh, of course I found the open data item. This isn't the open data item that I'm clicking on, because that's passed now, but you get what's going on in the agenda, which will come up on my machine shortly. But it's the submit comments that I want to talk about. You click on that. Up comes your mail program with the address filled in for you. It's going to go to exec at toronto.ca. And uh, the item that you're talking about is already tracked, default put in. And uh, essentially, this is your statement that is uh, also default text put in. Please add my comments to the agenda. And below that, you understand that the comments and the personal information in the mail will form part of the public record, etc. That's all good, searchable, perhaps by search engines like Google. That's all good, and you insert your comments there. And whoosh, off it goes, right? The interesting thing is, here's what happens as an outcome. Let's just go, this is what I actually sent now. So this is the uh, agenda uh, for the uh, Open Data Master Plan. And you can see that other people, like George Martin and Henrik uh, Beckman, who I know quite well, among others, have submitted comments. You'll notice a few linked items here. And these are actually uh, people that submitted a comment, but they submitted it via PDF document. And uh, that's shown up as a link. So when I submitted, and that's me right there on January 22nd, I assumed that it was going to be linked, but I was surprised to see that it wasn't. So I actually communicated with um, the uh, city clerk's mail, which is clerk at toronto.ca, and I uh, didn't get an answer back. My basic question was, how, how am I supposed to read the other people's comments, which I'm interested in reading about this particular item? So a week later, today, I actually wrote again saying, I haven't heard back. Can you please explain? The answer I did get back, thank you for an answer, was uh, essentially I need to indicate what comments I wanted to read and they would print them out and I could go in person to City Hall and pick them up. Now I live in Toronto, so that isn't going to be a super major inconvenience to me, but I'm curious. I was speaking to someone from New York City, for example, today and we were talking about the Open Data Master Plan and um, 
they were curious about the comments as well, and I relayed this information to them that so you can't actually read them. This is what I was told, so it's a little harder for someone from New York City or somewhere else in the world. It's even harder for somebody outside of Toronto to go through that route to read those comments. So we're talking about open government now, and this is a process that it's seemingly uh, transparent enough. You can submit your comments, but seriously, if you can't read them, uh, what what is the absolute end game there? Uh, I wasn't even sure that there was a guarantee that the councillors were going to even see these comments. And I had to do some searching on the City of Toronto website, and I did find a small little section that talked about the process. And apparently what happens is these emails are printed out and they're attached to the information and the binders that the councillors receive for the meeting. So I'm going on good faith that, in fact, that happens. But I would say... Uh, it's probably easier if you do what you did with the PDFs. And, and actually, if, if you don't want to convert them at your end, at the City of Toronto end or the City Hall end into a PDF, uh, advise then the person submitting, please submit via a PDF. It raises other issues too. Of course, the technology available to people, someone might not have a computer in the first place, but assuming they have a computer, uh, they can probably do email, but then they may not be able to make a PDF. The questions here are whose responsibility is it? I, I think the bottom line end game is that you want those comments to be exposed uh, to find out what citizens are saying about it. So it's not you need, or not s just for the councillors to read, it's for other people to read. And as I say, there's uh, seven or eight different comments here uh, around the Open Data Master Plan. I'm assuming they're all in favour, but what if they weren't? I mean, uh, I'm actually doing some research on producing a documentary about open data and the history of open data in Toronto, and some of this material is obviously going to be useful to me uh, as background information at the very least. So, bottom line, can we not improve this process so that the submissions are actually visible to everyone? I'm not sure, again, what it takes from your end, but I know having worked inside the city um, that it's certainly possible to assign that as a task and, and have that become a regular part of the process. Here endeth my rant, uh, but open government, I think if we're going to actually have open government, we've got to go all the way with open government. What do you think? Let me know. And uh, stay tuned for more episodes through 2018. I'm Keith McDonald. Have yourselves a great day. And once again, congratulations on the Open Data Master Plan. Talk to you soon, I hope.